It is possible for children to behave themselves, especially if you direct them, show them what to do. Children want to be like their parents. They don't resist being like their parents. They only start resisting you if you are a hypocrite. Because children will not, they will not do what you say. They will follow your spirit. They'll do the things you do in secret. That's what your children will do. So if you pretend to be good in public, but in private, you are not that good. What you do in private is what your children will follow. Because that's what's in your genes. That's the spiritual heritage you give them. So you've got to be a person who is real. If you're upset, let it be open. There are parents who pretend. Yeah. When they're annoyed, they pretend that, oh, I'm, I'm okay, they, they begin to smile. Stop lying to your children. Tell them clearly that I'm feeling upset about A, B, C, D, E, and show them the way. When you're upset about something or angry with somebody, you say, look, I forgive, and I bless. Yeah. You see, sometimes parents, husband and wife, might probably be upset with each other, and they want to hide from the children. You cannot hide. Kids are spiritual. They see angels. They hear things that are not spoken. They, their ears can hear things that you don't speak. They can hear your heart. So one would just say, yeah, I felt a bit upset there, but you know what? The Spirit of God is with us, and we forgive and we bless in Jesus' name. Then they learn how to reconcile as they grow up. But if you go hiding from kids, oh, they're not supposed to know. Don't involve them. I don't know what, you know? They're not supposed to know what. So who's going to teach them? They're going to learn from YouTube, and they'll learn from the wrong sources. You understand? They learn from the Internet. If you don't teach them stuff, they will learn from the Internet. And there are certain things that parents think are embarrassing. As, well, as soon as children start being curious about certain aspects of life, like biological stuff, mm -hmm. talk to them openly. Explain to them things in a way that is appropriate, but in a way that is meaningful. All right? More often than not, parents hide information from children. And children, in their normal curiosity, will want to find out all by themselves. And sometimes, because of lack of higher levels of knowledge, they will end up in the wrong places and they are hooked onto things that you don't like or things you don't want. So, parents, be close to your child. In fact, the scripture we read in Proverbs chapter 22, bring up a child in the way they should go and when they are old, they will not depart from it. You know, Proverbs 22 verse 6, train up a child. The word train up, yeah, train up, it, it means to dedicate time. Dedicate time. Train up a child, dedicate time to that child. Okay? And let me tell you something else. There are parents who think that it's abusive to use the belt of truth, the whip. You know? The Bible says if you spare the rod, then the Bible says if you use, actually let me put it in a positive way. Use the rod and you will drive out foolishness from the heart of your child. And the Bible says if they cry, do not worry because you're rescuing them, their souls from hell. I'm not saying that you go beating your child to pulp, but you've got to warn children. You've got to tell them, don't talk like that. That is rude. And then if they do it again, warn them a second time. And if they do it again, warn them a third time. If they do it again, say, okay, I've given you three warnings concerning this very same thing. And find out if they really understand what you're talking about. If they can repeat what you're saying. Why is it that I've warned you? You have warned me because I spoke rudely to my sister or to my brother or to a, an older person. And you tell them, okay, this is now the last warning. If you speak rudely again to anyone, I'll give you three of the very best out of the belt of truth. Yeah? And the child should know that there is a warning. The child should also know that they can appeal. They can appeal. They can say, okay, may I appeal? You have decided that you're going to give me a spunk. But may I appeal? And if a child sincerely apologizes and you can see that they're contrite, then hey, retract the belt. Don't use it anymore. Because what matters is change of mind. That's what repentance is. So be in a discussion with children. Don't be the kind of a parent who, the moment a child is wrong, they've just been hit straight away. Talk about it. Explain to them what's going on. And by the way, after you've disciplined your child, hold them so they don't feel like the discipline was abuse that you're rejecting them hold them and tell your child i love you and then tell your child i don't like it when i have to discipline you because you're my child and i don't want you to feel pain 
But you see, the Bible says that when you act foolishly, we can only drive the foolishness out using a rod, you see. And make sure that's the very last thing that you use. Try your level best to talk as much as possible. Because salvation comes through use of words. And children can also grow by use of words. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Yes, honey. Maybe just to express, because sometimes parents might be very upset mm -hmm. when disciplining a child. Yes. And they end up, you know, you've just said that at the end of spanking them, uh -huh. you need to hold your child and tell them you love them. Yes. But many times they're angry. Parents discipline in anger. Oh, that's a dangerous thing. Mm -hmm. A parent who disciplines a child when they're angry is not really angry with the child. Mm -hmm. They are possibly angry with their spouse and they're releasing it on the child. That's abuse. Yeah. First, you're a coward because you can't face an adult. You go taking all your anger and release on a child who is so delicate. Mm -hmm. That's a dangerous thing. In some cases, they were frustrated at the office. Mm -hmm. And they come home and the, little, the smallest thing a child does just gets them to spark off. Mm -hmm. That's not the right thing. When you're angry, please don't discipline your child. Wait until you're calm so that you're reasonable so that you're not too emotional about it. Because if you're angry, you're going to open themselves up to demonic spirits, spirits of fear mm. and timidity. They're going to start feeling timid mm. and they'll be unsure of themselves. You see, that's the right way to do it. Don't act, not just with children. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, don't act when you are angry. Wait a couple of hours or even a whole day Sleep over the matter. Don't react when you're angry. Because you'll make mistakes. The Bible says anger resides in the bosom of a fool. Mm -hmm. So once you're angry and you're boiling up, any message you send to somebody will be foolish. Mm -hmm. Any statement you make will be foolish. Mm -hmm. Any action you take will be foolish. So wait until the anger has calmed down. And then you'll be more reasonable. You might not even need to take action after all. Mm -hmm. You may say, oh, I was just about to overreact. It's okay. I'll let it go. Mm -hmm. Do you see? So do your level best to calm down fast. And some people think that in the passion of the moment, mm -hmm. I need to do something. Yeah. But that's what's called abuse. Then you raise children that are angry and, and bitter. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. And rebellious and rude. Mm -hmm. And then they'll start talking back at you as soon as they become teenagers. Because they've seen your inconsistencies and hypocrisy. Yeah. Children can tell when you're being hypocritical. Yeah. So you need to be honest and you need to even apologize to children. Yeah. You know, often sometimes, you know, I may, I may tell my child something, you know, like, why did you put that thing there? You know, in a tough voice. Yeah. And I see the face of the child changing and I get to realize, oh my goodness, I was too hard. Yeah. I say, I'm sorry. You know, you're my baby. I'm sorry, Daddy. sorry, you see. Sometimes you may overreact as an adult or as a parent. Mm -hmm. It's okay, just apologize. Don't feel so horrible about it. Mm -hmm. Just say, you know what, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You teach your children to apologize in the future. Mm -hmm. If parents never apologize because they have this notion that I'm always right. No, you're not always right. Mm -hmm. You're not always right. We make mistakes too. Even we who are preachers who hear the Spirit of God who operate in the prophetic, sometimes we make mistakes. And when we do, we require forgiveness even from children. And that's the work of humility. When you raise children in such an environment, you're going to raise champions in the name of Jesus. 